All right, next up on the uneven bars, Dana Folletti. She out of Chesapeake, Virginia, from the powerful Excalibur gymnastics team. She, by the way, was an alternate in the 2001 World Championship team, so she's had international experience. They could use some of that right now after the two mistakes on the uneven bars. This Kathy, it's early in the season, so how much can you judge from this? Well, I know that they are using this as a gauge. They can go then back to their gyms and say, okay, these are the things we need to work on. We know what it feels like to perform when we're a little bit nervous, when we're unsure of things, and then go back and make some corrections. But there's no way to get past this pressure situation. You have two falls ahead of you, two low scores. You know you've got to count one of them. There's no way there's not a little extra pressure. On that note, the score for Brian was a 9.0, so they will have to count the 9.25. I will say, though, this is the best part of collegiate gymnastics, is the aspect of team where they pull up for each other. Somebody might have a fall or a miss. You make up for it. You just get right back on track. Nice release. Just a little leg separation right as she caught the bar. Her heart probably jumped just a little bit. Alabama is typically very clean on this event. Using nice long swing. Good form. A little rough on the landing. All right, we said it's a four-ring circus. Let's go quickly to the vault. This is Ashley Kupet, the 5'2 sophomore from Maryland. She is powerful. And she had a terrific year last year as a freshman. Now a little bit more experience. Slightly off-center on that vault. So that will be a deduction. Of course, you could see the hop. Those kind of deductions are very obvious to you. But watch now where she's traveling in our direction off to this side, and she will land off to the side and then hop. Big hop. Gymnastics fans might know that name, Kupets. Her younger sister, Courtney, competed for the U.S. in the Olympics in Athens and won two medals, in fact. And she'll be joining the team at the University of Georgia next year. And aren't they excited about that? They killed Katie. More and more Olympians keeping their amateur eligibility and staying on to compete in collegiate gymnastics because it is so thrilling and there's that great exciting team concept, not to mention the chance to earn a scholarship. Here are the scores on the vault for Georgia. You can see 9-3-7-5, the low score there for Kelsey Erickson. The score for Ashley Kupetz is a 9-7-5, so that will replace that low score, and they'll have a solid team performance on the vault. Back to the uneven bar, Ashley Miles. And I'm always amazed when I watch this gymnast. She's so strong. Technique is very good, too. Score for Dana Folletti is a 9-7-2-5. One of the greatest things that uh, the great Svetlana Fortuna did for the sport of gymnastics was tell everybody you're not too tall for this sport. So we're seeing taller gymnasts do amazing things. That got him rallied again. <laughs> She's just so much fun to watch. She almost put the bars up when she taps for this dismount. Very dynamic right here. Taps through the bottom, boom, up into the air. Stretched out body and fought for the landing. Three national titles, twice on the vault and one on the floor exercise. We'll see her perform on those events later on. 